there are there are these six kind of reasons you know why you know this digital age is really different yeah there are six things big things that are happening you know i could have defined this in many different ways but this is how i've chosen to define it the first is around customers yeah so the the customer in in the digital age has a lot of choices uh because of that they are extremely demanding um they are not loyal um there is a lot of pricing transparency um and and therefore there's a lot of switching behavior yeah so you may be um uh, offering like a very uh old fashioned industrial product you know but the expectation the customer now has of you is the netflix experience or the amazon experience yeah so the expectation that the customers have is just very different and what is also happening because of the enormous power of the consumer yeah is that every business is now becoming like a b2c business you know earlier you would have b2c b2b c2c b2b2c but everything eventually is becoming consumer oriented yeah fidelity a firm where i spent many years and a number of our colleagues john pratul others have spent years you know for the longest time it was a b2b business yeah and but over the last 10 years it has fundamentally become you know the largest part of the business is the b2c business every business has to think about the end consumer directly what is the business might be yeah the second kind of big thing that is happening is the data explosion yeah it's it's a complete layer of the whole uh, scale has shifted so dramatically you can't at all think of it in any kind of linear terms you, know, you have to think of it in logarithmic terms you know the volume velocity variety of data has exploded so dramatically and it is allowing you know you to do things you know which you could have never done yeah so just even the whole fundamentals you know again you know coming to the fundamentals of business now you know those of you who have done an mba and would have gone through a course in marketing would have likely studied this book called philip kotler yeah people have studied philip kotler here yeah so the basics of marketing is something called stp segmentation targeting positioning yeah the first step is segmentation yeah why do you do segmentation because you don't know all the customers so you have to make some simplifying assumptions yeah but in a world you know where you have so much data about every customer you know the whole concept of segmentation is irrelevant you know because you can now tag you know each customer individually and you have the ability to to very clearly and specifically create a proposition for that individual customer and then deliver that proposition and i, I can never forget it like a couple of years back you know when we started our digital work at verizon you know and i asked the head of data science at uh, at verizon that you know what is your segmentation he said you know we have 130 segments yeah it's a very very you know very different world and therefore the the entire way you think about customers and and marketing changes velocity of change you know again it's just such a it's a, it's again a completely different different order of magnitude that whichever dimension you look at whether you look at business cycles or whether you look at product cycles a business cycle if it was 10 20 years is now like 5 years a product which was 5 years is like 1 year yeah a strategy which would be relevant for 3 to 5 years is now 6 months yeah so the speed the velocity of change around us is just incredible and in that has huge implications speed is just such a big 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 deal yeah and especially those of us who are more than age of 40 is just it's like a huge issue because we may think we are age agile we may think we are age agile but we have really been trained and and kind of you know we have learned our basics in a very different world yeah technology at the core again you know like for my 14 year old son you know this is obvious you know he lives and breathes technology yeah but but for most organized you know for most senior people and for most organization they you know it is it's a very difficult to get their head around it yeah technology was a support thing and now technology and strategy are not different things 
technology is driving the future technology is is defining what customers are expecting and therefore what the business model should be and therefore from that what the industry structure should be every the core of it is really technology change it's a, it's a very and if you have to succeed you need to understand this very deeply number 5 i think the first four are pretty obvious to understand you know when you kind of think about it number 5 is more subtle but very very important yeah and which is you know what i call iterative yeah iterative so you know when when you know, i was kind of going through college and also uh, a lot of my early years of my my career and i used to do a lot of work in in operations transformation and this kind of concept that was constantly being talked about was rft right first time right first time now that concept is completely irrelevant in the digital world is completely irrelevant in fact it's a very limiting construct of right first time why because of the first couple of things there is the velocity of change is very high things are changing very quickly yeah that there is a lot of data coming through yeah so what you the way this world is is not linear it is circular yeah it is circular yeah so it is not that step 1 2 3 it's kind of step 1 2 3 and you kind of come back and at any point you can go to any previous step yeah so you know you still kind of keep moving forward but it's like a wheel it's like a wheel kind of rotating and, and kind of moving forward that is the fundamental nature of the digital world and therefore experimentation becomes extremely important extremely important nobody can say nobody here in this world can say i have the answers nobody can say yeah because you know to say that that i have the answers the problem needs to be well defined and problem needs to be constant here here the problem definition itself is changing it is very dynamic so you have to be very flexible you have to be iterative iterative yeah and the final thing which again i think most of you would relate to is that this world is fundamentally interdisciplinary the digital world is fundamentally interdisciplinary it is cross functional um there is no you know the way enterprises are organized you, know, you have finance you have marketing you have operations manufacturing blah 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 you know today this world is fundamentally about the customer yeah and customer doesn't care that you have a manufacturing problem or you have a finance problem or whatever or you have a hr problem they it is about the final outcome yeah so the digital problems the nature of digital problems is, is such that it is fundamentally interdisciplinary it is cross functional it requires many different skills yeah and and that's something you know which um i think is is a very big challenge in terms of organization structures and you know, how organizations are are constructed today